Number 65. The pH of a 0.23 molarity solution of HF is 1.92. Determine the Ka for HF from these data. Okie dokie. So, two things that they gave us here. They said that the pH of HF is 1.92. So I'm just going to write that down here. So we have a pH equal to 1.92. And they told us that we had a 0.23 molarity solution of HF. So maybe I'll just write HF equals 0.23 molarity. Cool. And they want us to find the Ka value. Now remember, a Ka, the ionization constant for an acid, always comes from a balanced equation. It comes from the ionization of your acid. In this case, HF is an acid. They're saying that it's an acid because Ka, A for acid. So I'm going to just write a quick equation just to say what HF is doing. And HF, and any acid, all you have to do is just get rid of the one hydrogen from the rest of the compound. So in this case, I'm going to say this is uh, at equilibrium. HF is classified as a weak acid. It is not one of your six strong. And this will break down into H plus, plus F minus. You're just separating out the H from the F. Any charged ion is going to be aqueous. So this is aqueous and this is aqueous. And any weak acid or weak base is aqueous as well. So all of these three will be included in your Ka expression. But remember, when we're dealing with weak acids or weak bases, we have to use an ice table because the Ka values, they always come from equilibrium values. So I have to find out those equilibrium. This 0.23 molarity is not at equilibrium. They just said that this is what we started with. They didn't specifically say that or explicitly, right? But they just said that it was coming from a 0.23 solution of HF. They did not tell us how much H plus we have, and they didn't tell us what F minus was, right? So we have to assume that this is initial. So let's write out our little ice table. So I'm going to put a, a line here. And a line here, I, C, E. Now let's just run through the ice table. This was initial of HF, so 0.23, I stands for initial. And it's already in molarity, so I don't have to worry about converting or anything. They didn't state how much H plus I had initially. And they didn't state how much F minus I had initially. They only told us the pH, right? But a good thing to know is that pH comes from equilibrium. So we're getting there. pH is not a initial value. So I have zero and I have zero. Now remember, change stands for C. You could only go up if you have nothing. So if you see zeros, you know that that always has to be a plus. And with HF, it's going to be minus because you can only gain if you don't have anything. So that signifies pluses. Now, for right now, let's just say we don't know what, how much we're changing by. So I'm just going to label it as X, right? Minus X, plus X, and plus X. And good thing with acids and bases is that it's always going to be a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio. So you don't have to worry about two X's or three X's. Equilibrium, which is E, combines the initial and the change. So 0.23 minus X is literally 0.23 minus X. 0 plus X is X. 0 plus X is X. Okay. Now we like to pull in, or I like to pull in, additional information. Let's now focus on this pH. They did tell us that we had a pH of 1.92, and a pH value is always at equilibrium. And I say to myself, do I know any formulas that will link a pH with something that's in my balanced equation? And it's the one down here. Maybe I'll just bring this up. If you have a pH value, you could do 10 to the negative pH to always get the H plus concentration. H plus concentration. This is at equilibrium. Maybe I'll just put EQ. So... H plus would equal 10 to the negative 1.92.
So let's see. H plus 10. 10 to the negative 1.92. And since this is not the answer, I'm not really going to give, uh, you know, we like to extend a couple of decimals out. So 0 0.0120. And that's now molarity. And this is now at equilibrium. If the pH was at equilibrium, the H plus is at equilibrium. And look, we said that that was X. So we can say that this X value is really 0 0.0120. And look, this is also X. So if we say that this is X, and this is also X, this has to be the same number. And if this is 0.23 minus x, this is literally minus 0 0.0120. So let's see, what is that number? If I just maybe get rid of this and plug this into here, right? So let's see, 0.23 minus 0 0.012. 0, whoop, 0.218. And now these three are your equilibrium values that you're going to use for your Ka expression. Ka always equals products divided by reactants. There was two products, aqueous, one product that was uh, aqueous. So it's, maybe we'll pull this over here. So just to set you up, the two products were H plus times F minus divided by HF. So now all we got to do is just plug in those numbers. Ka equals those two, 0 0.0120 times 0 0.0120 divided by 0 0.218. And then we finally have a Ka value. Let's see, 0 0.012 times 0 0.012 divided by 0.218. And now let's do, I guess, two sig figs. So 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth. And it kind of checks out. I mean, it's a weak acid, so it should be a relatively low Ka value times 10 to the negative fourth. That's pretty good. But that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you all in later lessons. I hope you're doing well out there. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.